Hey everybody, welcome back to the PD Rush YouTube channel. Uh, we're here today making another track guide, looking at the Mazda MX-5 at Lime Rock Park. Ends up being a pretty fun course. Uh, has some pretty tricky spots and nuances that you might not know about. So we're going to go through those and share them today. Um, some characteristics of the track being uh, some of the corners have some banking and the track actually has a crown in it so um, kind of like your regular roadway uh, it'll be a little bit higher up in the middle than it is at the edges which can create some kind of interesting corners that we will go through and look at today most notable of these being the uh, exit of turn two uh, the left hander at turn three and uh, turn nine which is the downhill exit onto the back straight So showing this part of the lap because this run is important, you can take in the inside and you see the car dip down, you want to get right next to that curve. Uh, we were talking about the kind of camber and banking of the corners, that's one of them that on the inside it's got a little bit of a bank. So looking for your braking mark just past the two board, I'm going to point it to the inside of this curb and you're going to let the car ride out and be very patient on the controls. This is more of a late apex corner, catch that curb and ride it back out. Here, same thing, you can see there's a little bit of a banking. You're gonna be really patient on the controls. Give up some of the exit on that corner so you can set yourself up nice for that last one that we just went through. Okay, coming down into this stretch, looking for your breaking point just past the cur or the shadow. Don't quite catch the curbs. They'll slow you down. Back to the throttle, hit fourth gear just about clipping the inside of that and somehow this was not an off track so that's why I left the lap in here and clipping that curb and getting a good launch and exit out of this corner so now let's take a look at some of the tricky spots of the track we'll see what happens when you don't take quite a proper line through them um, so this corner if you go way too deep on turn one you can end up catching this grass and obviously that's gonna slow you way down um, you do have to carry a good bit of momentum into that corner, but you don't want to carry too much. Then on this corner, you want to sacrifice some of this exit. You don't want to go quite to this part of the course, because then you're going to really mess yourself up for that next right-hander, and it's going to be harder for you to keep it on track, and you might meet the tire wall. So looking at this corner, say so you do good coming through turn one and into turn two, you're a little bit heavy on the throttle and you miss your apex. It's going to send you out to this outside grass where the car is probably going to get pretty loose. And you might spin back across the track. So you don't want to gas up too early through that part of the corner. And then here, you don't want to take too much of the curb. It can really unsettle the car and make it hard to control on the way through. Now, coming through this set of corners, if you enter on the outside of this corner, we were talking about that camber in the corner earlier, it's a little bit too flat out there, so the car really gets understeery and doesn't want to turn nearly as well as it does if you enter about in the middle of the course. And coming through the chicane right here, if you take way too much curb, so you've got your tires off of the ground, uh, you're not able to put the power down, and that actually slows you down a good bit because now you're still losing time through this section of the course because it's mostly on throttle. And uh, now you're probably down maybe a half a second or so uh, then if you enter too late on this final corner you'll run wide into the grass again so it's really important to try to link up with that curb on the inside of that last turn so here I just wanted to take one more time and look at the track map here so uh, exit of turn two is one of those with the funky kind of camber uh, so you want to try to clip that inside curbing uh, to try to loosen the car up a little bit so that you can uh, get to the power a little bit more aggressively and it helps the car want to rotate through that section. Then keep it in mind as you're coming out of turn three, heading into turn four, you want to make sure and stay to the left of the circuit so that you set yourself up better for the right-hander because you're coming down to uh, that no-name straight where you want to carry momentum down into the chicane. Um, in the chicane, remember, try not to clip the curbs too much and your primary focus should be maximizing your exit here, not really your entry. 
because uh, once again, you've got an uphill straight, so you want to carry as much momentum as possible into the west bend of turn eight, uh, and then which will carry your momentum all the way down into the downhill section of turn nine, where once again, uh, it's a little bit of a uh, banked corner on the inside, so you want to try to keep it to the inside and maybe even just clip that curb uh, on the right side that's how you'll know you're pretty much hitting your mark so that you can sling the car out uh, all the way to the outside curb and uh, maximize that exit down the straight and that should set you up for a pretty good lap around Lime Rock so uh, yeah that's it for today a pretty short guide for a pretty short track um, but really fun it's been a great week racing here um, thank you again for tuning in and watching hope you enjoyed the guide hope you found something useful um, and I hope you learn more tricks for the track so uh, go ahead and if you like what you saw give us a like and a subscribe and uh, hopefully we'll see you around for more videos in the future thank you so much have a great day